right at 351 and then it pushes all the way down so pretty much if i drew a line all the way across we noticed that it rejected here right at that same level and then it hasn't closed above pretty much since back then in may so what we're looking at on this drop from low to high is about 34 percent what we saw recently was a 16 percent drop in nine trading days after trying to test that level again if we could break through i think it's going to take us to 383 if we get on the north side there 432 the retest at 465 and then i believe five to six dollar range is realistic now i love the fact that the stock ripped it had a massive move and then sort of played out like this descending channel bull flag type of situation a little bit more extended bull flag but the main thing i like is the correlation remember this bounced off the daily 200 which is fantastic and we also alerted this as well as a good time to potentially consider going long which was that bounce right at 252 the stock then melted up 46 percent over the past 15 days from august 5th all the way to august 23rd again still holding up over 32 percent chromadex without a doubt looks great like i mentioned never once went red next is live one ticker lvo stock looks primed and ready to explode the big barrier is going to be 190 all the way to 205 that is a 15 cent range that we want to smash and accelerate past this double top at 220 after that i think it will be fireworks again a lot of correlation as well with that weekly 200 ema you'll notice that's very common throughout this video but ultimately you want to see the long term or the big picture how it bounces back it's never the action itself it's always the reaction so what the stock breaks out it has a false pullback now does it recover and grow over the next three weeks and break that level down that is what we want to focus on so i'm not concerned here i want you guys to just zoom out and understand that this has a lot of potential now on the monthly here if we do break this double top it really has a chance of surging and i think we see 350 maybe upwards of four dollars as well and that monthly 200 again sitting right there 388 definitely can see a massive breakout because this is old liquidity that has not been tested for over three years when we go back to this range this is may june of 21 you know we're three years and three months past this already so if it starts to break out right i do think that the next barrier that it could potentially see a little bit of resistance or possible rejection would be at this range but it's pretty much clear sailing all the way here because this was a downtrend there should be no significant points of resistance once it smashes this double top so very optimistic again for something like lvo third stock is cardio therapeutics ticker crdl looking on the monthly we notice the same correlation on that 200 ema acting as a natural barrier this is not random coincidence or by chance that this level has correlation for over five years this is going back to 2019 now when we zoom in i know a lot of people think it's nonsense here from low to high the stock is down 44 43 percent within a three-month window this is 100 percent correlated and the more we zoom in the more clear the picture becomes now, when we look back, notice the 200, same thing on the weekly, right? Gets one false break, a second, and then pretty much from this point here, November of 2021, we do not break it until February, end of February of this year. Now we have broken this weekly 200 and is using it as support. It is no longer resistance where it's rejecting this level. It is now broken out and retested as support once, support twice, and hopefully will continue this uptrend where we're at currently. Now the 200 price on the weekly is 173. So I want to make a mental note of that level that is acting as a floor. Now, when we go on the daily and we zoom in, we're looking for the same exact thing. Where is this level? And we're noticing the last time it touched that 200, it bounced exponentially, right? This went up almost 300% in around 100 days. So now we're coming back and retesting this level pretty much from the beginning of the year. So this is a nine month level here that is now being retested. And the range is 176 here. Very, very similar to the weekly i love to see correlation that is always a strong sign of an inflection point or a key directional change 
Now, of course, we're looking for catalysts in the next few months, things that we're going to look forward to. We know H.G. Wainwright wrote a $10 price target here. A lot of analysts continuing to cover CRDL. I believe ultimately you have to smash that 52-week high. Before we get there, my levels would be 210, 240, and then odds are retesting that high there at 312. But again, one step at a time, I really want to see the stock consolidate Hold this level, reclaim two for the psychological value. Next, we have a controversial stock, Robinhood Markets, ticker HOOD. I'm focused on the fundamentals, just simply making money on buying and selling the stock. And when I look at how the business has grown since IPO, this is a no-brainer, something I must bring to your attention. And what we noticed back in 2021 at the height of the crypto rally, the stock had minus $2.16 earnings per share, trading at $85, and of course, sold off tremendously. But but still, now when we look in real time, 21 cents, positive EPS, billions of dollars of cash in the bank, and I think a real strategic plan on how they're going to continue this growth. And if we do see a second rally and we're going into the next wave of Bitcoin breaking out, possibly reaching six figures, I believe they are poised to make a massive amount of money. They also acquired a Bitcoin exchange. There is no way that they're not going to capitalize on what's about to unfold in the markets. And this is definitely a stock you have to keep on your radar, minus any of your feelings. And if you have any opinions, any feelings, any emotions towards Robinhood, please feel free to let me know in the section below. Now, if you want to go a little bit more in depth on the business, like the numbers and the fundamentals, I have two videos where we actually called Robinhood out to open a position. One was on this page, the second on my new account, Avid Capital, which focuses a little bit on macroeconomic news and other things like that. So either way, when we zoom in, we want to focus on the key levels, right? Where are their pivot points? Where are there things that we want to look for? Now, what I love on the weekly is this 200, right? We have not traded on the north side of the 200 day since November of 2021. It then took all the way from March of this year to break it. And really, we have and consistently been holding above it. It's been above, below, multiple times. So we want to stabilize and make sure that we really secure this 200-day on the weekly, which is right at 1879, very close to where it closed this week. Now, again, Robinhood also looks like a head and shoulder setup. So I want to, again, make that very clear. Here is the left shoulder. Here is the potential right shoulder forming, and we already have the head. So this is very possible that this can come all the way back down. But for me, the business is executing. So there's nothing that I'm concerned about. It would just be a better opportunity to get a lower cost basis or just, again, a lower price to open up a position. So like I said, is fundamentals more important than your overall feelings or sentiment on the company? You let me know what your thoughts are on that. The only other thing I would say is focusing on the close of each week. So when we look at this close here, that's 2112. So pretty much we want to put a level there that we want to see it break above. And then the next would be that high of the 52 week, which is pretty much 2341. So let's say we sell off or something, you know, of this nature happens where we're sort of trickling down and now we go to retest here can act as a barrier. And now if we break that level, well, the second level at 20 can act as a barrier. So I want to have those mental notes for me that's going to provide a little bit more clarity, a little bit more context when I'm looking at a five-minute chart like this. Now, if we zoom out a little bit on the daily, right, the only other thing that I mentioned is sort of this head and shoulders pattern, but also one thing that is really common is this sort of lowercase h. I know a lot of people don't see that often, but you see this sort of lowercase h that plays out. That's very, very common in stock. So we just want to always proceed with caution. I'm never telling anyone to just buy these stocks randomly. You have to have a plan. You have to understand that downside must be anticipated. It's nearly impossible. I'll just say it's impossible for you to buy a stock and it to just go straight up. Let's just say that because it's so much better to just say, expect the downside every single time when you buy. Always buy with the anticipation of adding lower. That is my personal perspective. But either way, Without a doubt, when you see the business that's executing fundamentally, they're growing, they have a real plan, and they're getting big institutions that are continuing to buy their stock and go long, focusing on the bigger picture, the days, weeks, and months, and really letting a play fully develop like smart money does. Remember, anything fast doesn't last. This is a marathon, not a sprint.